guys how's it going this is the start of the day for me i literally just woke up about an hour and a half ago something like that let's get going with the day today we'll be doing some working out some grooming some other stuff like that update on my back it's about 75 percent better i got the back brace on Hey guys, what's up? My wife is a dog groomer. This is my dog. We're grooming my dog today. Just giving her a bath and grooming her up. And my wife uh, is a professional dog groomer. This is an old lady getting groomed. So first you want to wet the whole dog uh, under the tail and between the legs are very important. They get a lot of dirt in there and a lot of people don't uh, wash that area. Um, and then <clears throat> you got to watch their eyes and their nose because if you get a lot of water up the nose, you can actually drown the dog. So. Once the dog is completely wet, I have my shampoo. I mix a little bit of dog shampoo and fill the rest with water and then I just pour it on and I scrub the dog really good. And then you also wanna make sure to do between the legs, like I said, their paws and under the bum. I know a lot of people think it's gross and they don't wanna watch, wash underneath the tail, but you got to do it, so. When I do under the bum, I just lift the tail and do this. A lot of them don't like it and they sit down. Action. So I scrubbed the dog down. I got in all the parts that they get dirty. You make sure you do their head too. A lot of people avoid doing their head, but it does get dirty. You just watch their eyes when you do it. Now I'm just gonna rinse, rinse her off, and then she's ready for a blow dry. You're just using warm water, just like you would do on yourself. Make sure it's not hot or too cold. <clears throat> okay. I usually start with the face. The face, um, so the soap doesn't get in the eyes and their mouth and their nose too much. And that's the last thing I wash as well when I soap her up. So it's the last thing you put soap on and the first thing you want to rinse off. And then just do the rest of her body. I usually do the back first because all the soap drains downwards.
you got to make sure you get all the soap off because if you don't, sometimes they get itchy and they'll start licking and biting and scratching because it'll make the skin dry. So you want to make sure you get all the soap off. When I'm done rinsing her, we'll see you back in a minute. Action. Okay, so she's done getting rinsed off. All the soap is off. So now what I do is I put her up on this table here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. And then we use a noose. This is called a noose to put her on her neck so she doesn't jump off. And what I'm going to do is use a high-powered blower. Action. So this blower is really high velocity. It comes with an end. Action. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to turn it on, and it'll blow all the water off. What you want to do with this is you want to watch their face again. It could actually cause damage to the eyes, so you don't really want to go <clears throat> around the, the face and the nose area. So we're going to do this on the whole dog. Uh, you probably saw that water flying off. Uh, you pretty much want to dry her until she's almost completely dry. And then you could just either use a regular blow dryer to finish it, or I use, put them in a cage and use a cage dryer, which I'll show you when she is done. Pretty much dry and fluffy. So I'm just going to put her into a cage. Come on. In there. Good girl. So I just put her into the cage now and put a cage dryer on her <clears throat> just to finish up the 10% 10 10 wetness she has. Sometimes I put one up top here. This is pretty much like a blow dryer. It's not high velocity. And it has a couple different settings. I always put it on high because they dry faster. I put the towels over here just so the heat doesn't come out, but you got to be careful because sometimes they overheat. So you have to keep an eye on them. And because she's a big dog, I'm going to put a second one on her in the front so she dries quicker. Now we leave her in there for like 10 to 15 minutes. So she's dry now and we just brushed uh, her with a Terminator which is my favorite brush for this coat. It actually works really well. Well, not anymore because we brushed her already but it takes a lot of hair out. And we're just, I did her ears. I just cleaned it with cotton ball and ear cleaner. They're really clean. And I got to clip her nails. And how you clip nails, she doesn't like it, but how you clip nails, 
is there's this little lady. There's a little groove right here in the nail that you could see. You don't want to cut past that or they'll start bleeding because they have a quick in there, like a vein, and some dogs just bleed <laughs> a lot when you cut that. I mean, they can't bleed to death, but some of them do bleed a lot. So if they do bleed a lot, we have something called like a quick stop stipic powder. This one's pretty old. It's clumpy, but it's actually supposed to be a powder. And I just put it in between my fingers and I take it and I just hold it on the nail for a few seconds if they bleed. Um, yeah, this one's old. I should probably throw it out, but usually it's a powder, like a baby powder. And uh, yeah, so let's clip a few nails. Lady, you're okay. You're okay. Yeah, like I said, she doesn't really like this. Some dogs don't. They'll put up a fight. There, that paw's done. So I'm just going to finish that and maybe brush her out a little more. Put a little bit of perfume on her and she's good to go. So this is a cat that the person wants shaved. Um, I already did part of it. But this is how fluffy she is. And I have my clippers. They're Andis clippers. They're my favorite. Super 2 Speed AGC. And for cats, I like to use a number 10 blade because it uh, gets the coat off better. And uh, I will show you the cat when she's done. When I do the shaving on a cat, they have very soft skin, so they're very easy to cut. So you have to be careful. But I always start at the neck up here because it's easier uh, if they have mats on their coat from the long hair. And then I just work my way down the back like this. And uh, on this one, she kind of wanted a lion cut, so she's going to have a fluffy head. Um, fluffy feet and part of the tail fluffy which I already started so uh, once you're done the back you go down the legs here and the belly but then when you go on the underside a lot of cats don't like that and they'll freak out but the skin here if you can see they have all this extra skin you have to go down with it or you will cut them and it won't be good especially here as well all that extra skin if you go down like this you're gonna cut that cat so you have to go like this kind of with the skin on all those areas and then same with the bum you gotta do the bum what I do is I just go down and you just be careful around the bum hole and do this uh, yeah, so I'll show you when she's done. What you want to do around the head is just kind of blend it in because the puffiness with the almost baldness doesn't look good. <laughs> so you kind of want to blend it in here. And I just like do that with uh, either scissors or clippers, whatever I'm in the mood for. Just kind of blend it in like this so it doesn't look too crazy. And I'm just going to do that around the whole face. And luckily this cat's a good cat so far. So I kind of just take some of the puffiness away so it looks more natural. See how it gives it like a less fluffy type of look. I'm going to do the same around her paws and brush the tail out and she's pretty much going to be done.
This is the after shot of the cat that we just finished grooming. So this is a rescue cat that I have to shave. It is completely matted. It's never been groomed before. It's matted everywhere. Just tight mats. You probably can't see, but yeah, you could see some. This is all mats, really tight to the skin. So I got to shave her and I'm going to do the same thing. I got to use a number 10 blade and my clippers and shaver and I'll show you the end result. So this is the other cat. She's done being shaved. She's just drying because she had to have a bath. Pretty smelly. Hey kitty. You drying? So guys, thank you again for clicking here and watching. Um, actually, funny story about uh, one of the cats my wife um, ended up grooming there today. Um, we groomed the gray one, came home, uh, had a couple showers, uh, peeled on Facebook and found that that cat that we actually groomed, somebody was looking for them. Somebody was looking for that cat. So... Uh, she messaged that uh, cat's owner and said, hey, somebody brought your cat into the grooming shop, showed her the picture and says, I was like, is this your cat? And she was like, yes, that's my cat. And um, so we ended up getting in contact with the real owner and hopefully she could get her cat back. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching, like, comment and subscribe.